Hello, this is Drive from Commit Quality. In today's video, I want to go over the scenario outline and examples keyword that you'll find in Gherkin. And what you can see on my screen is a couple of scenarios. Both are where I enter incorrect passwords. One is with a lowercase of XYZ. And then I've got another one with a uppercase of XYZ. But I want you to imagine we have five different scenarios here where it's going to increase our feature file here. Kind of ignore the feature name and descriptions because I've just put anything in here just to give the example of this. So I've actually added a comment as well saying, oh, this is a nasty example because it can become bulky. And if you see this in any feature files or Gherkin, that your team have created, you can definitely say, I know a better way to fix this after watching this video. So let's jump right into it. Let's keep those there. I'm just going to add comments here to say, this is our separator and we'll write down new ones here. So I want these two to be separate scenarios. So when I'm executing them, I want them to be two separate tests because they are doing two separate things. But what we can do is we can create a scenario outline if I could spell scenario correctly. Now, what our scenario outline is, is a way to provide, a way to run the same scenario with multiple different values. It's basically a template, which is gonna create two scenarios, but you're only kind of writing it once. So in this case, here are our different values. So everything is the same, apart from this value here, where this can be whatever you want. It could be test, it could be blob, but we can tidy this up and write it as one scenario outline and it'll treat it as multiple tests. So I'm gonna say incorrect password, and I'm gonna say outline on it, just because I need to rename it different. And my typing is off today, but um, I want to name it different. Typically this would just be incorrect password because we already have that defined here. I'm just gonna add outline on to the end, but you don't need to add that. This is just my title. You can name this whatever you want. Now then what I can do is I can copy all this code, and the only thing I need to change is this part here. And I'll show you what we're going to change it to now. But before we do that, we need to introduce a new keyword. And this is called examples. And this is a way to provide the data sets for our scenario outline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create write a pipe and I'm going to say password. This is the title or the key. This can be whatever you want, but it's very important. This key is matched up to whatever you put inside your step that needs to be parameterized or have the different value running through it. And here I'm going to say XYZ, so that's the first one. And then I'm also going to have the second one, which is XYZ, but it's capitals. So now we can say is this is our outline. We have two data sets, which means here two tests will be run in the background. And we're going to change the password of XYZ here to whatever values we've put here. However, that won't work yet because we still have this parameter. So these are not being used. So what we have to instead is we have to pass through in an angle bracket, whatever the key is for these values. So in my case, it's password or lowercase. So now what that means is where you will have two tests when you automate this. The first one will run a scenario with lowercase xyz. And then you have another one which will run the same scenario, but with uppercase XYZ. And you can have as many of these data sets you want. So I could have 20 of these with different password values, one maybe with special characters, one without, you know, whatever you need. But then that means we only have to add it to this, this example's data set instead of writing loads of bulky scenarios, which are probably not going to be named great either. I can't believe I didn't spot that. Uh, Enter wasn't spelled correctly, but we'll just ignore that right now. Now, the only other example I want to give to you is you can have more than one key value in here. So if I was to copy this test and say, let's create this incorrect, and let's just rename this to anything. So we'll say example two. And I want to say when I enter a username of username, and the reason I'm adding these angle brackets is because you might have already guessed it. In this example now, I could actually say, Username, add a pipe, and I could say maybe commit is one username, and quality is another username, and I could maybe do another one where I have a password of blob and a username of subscribe. 
Let's tidy up that date table. And here you are. You can see now I've got two different keys, one which is going to be the username. So our first test is going to enter username of commit and a password of XYZ. We'll have a second test then, which will have a password of XYZ capital capitalized and a username of quality. And then you've got a third test, which would have a, use, a password of blob and a username of subscribe. And you can create as many as many keys as you want in here. If we needed to add more, we could just add it to this data set. But the, the key outcome I want you to take from this is by using your scenario outline and your example keyword, you're able to write nice and clean and easy to read tests that only have a difference of maybe the values are changing you're passing through. Now you can do this anywhere as well. So if I want to say I want to assert the password of something, that could also be passed down here. Doesn't matter what step you're in, it'll work with everything. All we're doing is providing a way to run the same scenario with multiple different values. And we use in this examples table as the data set for that. As always, if you do have any questions or comments, please drop them down below. A like and subscribe is appreciated. I've also enabled super thanks. So if you want to help contribute towards the running of my channel or website, you can do that way. Have a good day. Thanks for watching.